Hello everyone. Today I would like to talk about the concept of free perpendicular theorem. What's that? First of all, suppose there's a straight line AB, which is perpendicular to the plane pi. And what does that mean? That means the straight line AB will perpendicular to every straight line on the plane. That means AB is perpendicular. To any straight line on the plane pi. Second condition, point B is the foot of perpendicular from A to pi. That means the point B is on the plane pi. Here, the third condition is an other straight line CED is a straight line on the plane pi such that. B E is perpendicular to C dot. Then, what is your conclusion? The conclusion is A E will also perpendicular to C D. The red one, the red right angle is our conclusion. That's we need to prove why it happened. So we need to use. The given three condition, one, two, and three, to prove that angle A E dot is ninety degree. That's what we want to prove from those three conditions. So let's see what we can do. First of all, we can mark a point F, which is a point lying on the straight line C D E. Let F. Be a point on the straight line C E dot, and hence we can join the point. We join A F, and hence we use an other color pen to join B F. So there are different kinds of the right angle triangle here. Let's see. The first right angle triangle would be. A boy G. A E will be in red line. An angle A boy G is a right angle because A B is perpendicular to the plane pi. The second right angle triangle that is A boy F. Again, A boy is perpendicular to the plane pi. That means. It will perpendicular to every line on the plane pi, and B F is one of the straight line on the plane pi. So we know that A B F form the right angle again. The second right angle triangle, and the third right angle triangle that is the right angle triangle boy E F. That's the condition two. Boy E, a、uh, condition three. Boy E perpendicular to C E dot. That's mean perpendicular to E F. We have those three right angle triangle, and we have this fourth triangle that is A E F. But we need to prove that angle A E F is ninety degree. We we didn't know whether it is a right angle triangle or not. We need to prove angle A E F is a right angle, ninety degree. So let's start our proof. In the first equation, a b square plus b e square equals to a e square. Based on the Pythagoras theorem, and the second equation would be a b square plus b f square equals to a f square.
So let's see what's happened. Suppose there are two equations, we give the name as equation 1 and equation 2. And we try to do something like this. We use equation 1 minus equation 2. So AB squared plus BE squared minus bracket AB squared plus BF squared. Remember, you should give the bracket to the whole left-hand side of the second equation, okay? So equals to the AE squared minus AF squared. That's the meaning of the first equation minus the second equation. And next, you can see that AB squared will be cancelled. So BE squared minus BF square. Okay, I use the red one. Minus BF square will equals to the green line AE square minus the blue line AF square. So let's transforming the terms. Put AF square on one side, and the rest of the term on the other side. So AF square will equals to AE square plus BF square and then minus BE square. So let's focus on BF square minus BE square. We still have the third right angle triangle didn't use. From the third equation, we have BE square plus EF square equals to bf square that means ef square would equals to bf square minus be square and we can substitute back to here so you can see that af square would equals to ae square plus EF square. So, based on the converse of the Pythagoras theorem, you can see that AF will be the hypotenuse of the right angle triangle, and hence AE and EF will be the legs of the right angle triangle. Therefore, angle AEF equals 90 degree, because the converse of Pythagoras theorem and therefore you can make the conclusion is AE is perpendicular to CD that's it that is the proof of the free perpendicular theorem